Good morning, happy 4th of July weekend. You know, independence may be one of the most sought after things in the human experience. Maybe maybe every experience. I, I suspect, you know, you think about even a chicken trying to get out of an egg. You know, the reality is we want to be independent. Virtually every living creature on this planet wants to be independent on something. And so certainly there are examples of that as we see a child that pulls his hand away from a parent or a teen that, you know, does what teens do and they're in like we all did pretty much and and uh, pulls away from the guidance of a parent but you know the reality is that most people want to be and have some form of independence um, sure we celebrate Independence Day and and it is a celebration worthy of celebrating it trust me I, if you think that what I'm about to say is uh, not patriotic then you're you're gravely mistaken i i am so very thankful that i was born in and uh, live in the united states of america we have freedoms that other places just can only dream of and so i'm not suggesting that we devoid ourselves of celebration but when we talk about independence um we need to think about that pretty hard I don't think we even realize every attempt we make at trying to be independent. And so I've made a choice. And that choice is I no longer wish to seek independence. Instead, I want to seek and rejoice in my dependence on God. And so let's read together Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault a man? Would you? Would all of you throw him down? This leaning wall, this tottering fence, they fully intend to topple him from his lofty place and take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, he is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lowborn men are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together, they are only a breath. Do not trust in exhortation or take pride in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard, that you, O God, are strong, that you, O Lord, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he has done. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for the time that we had to spend together this morning. and I ask that you help us to remember that Regardless of how independent we want to be, we are completely and totally dependent on you. And Father, I pray that as we celebrate this weekend, this, this great place that you've allowed us to live in and, and uh, serve you in, that we would remember that we are dependent on you and we need you because you are a rock, you are a fortress. For it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You know, our struggle for independence may simply uh, <laughs> cause us to expend all our energy in the wrong direction. What I read in this psalm is that David says, My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. You know, we search for independence, and it's pretty elusive. We, we try hard. We get tired of the fight we fatigue and that's just the beginning of of all of the struggles that we have i you ask anyone who's fought in battle to gain independence or to gain freedom or to keep freedom they will tell you that it wore them out and so there's no rest there's no peace no place that we can go to where god does not provide for us it's an exhausting struggle to be independent. And so David gives us an example. He says, there's no rest except in God. 
He says there's no salvation except in God. He says there's no comfort except in God. You know, I want to tell you that the trials of life will beat us down. Even this weekend, as you go out and celebrate the, the independence of the, of the nation, you may expend all of the energy you have and come home just completely worn out. The truth is, that's the place we have to be when we declare that we're not to be shaken because we become completely independent on God. And there's only one source of hope. David wrote, I find rest on my soul in God alone. My hope comes from him. That's what he said in verse 5 of this psalm. And I want to tell you, he reiterates this declaration of finding rest in God in that passage more than once. And, and then he moves on. He says his honor is who he is, depends on God. Who David is depends on God. It doesn't matter who you are, who you think you are. We're utterly and completely dependent on God. He says that the low-born men are but a breath, and the high-born are but a lie. And if weighed on a balance, they are nothing together. They are only a breath. And so we fight and fight and fight to be free from whatever we're trying to be free from and then realize that we really need God. You know, He deserves our trust. God deserves our worship. He deserves our service. And He wants us all to see that, that we are and are um, all that we have, we owe to him. And that's the simple truth. We might be able to be independent from a parent or independent from um, some foreign power. We might be able to be independent from a lot of things, but we'll never be independent from God. We strive to place our hope in our, in our retirement funds, in our homes, our family, and yet the reality is the only source of hope is God himself. The lie of independence is that we need no one. And I assure you, we need God. It's our choice, though. In uh, verse 11, David wrote, One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard, that you, O God, are strong, and that you, O Lord, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he's done. You know, this is the, the age-old uh, battle right here, independence or dependence on your own or with God. The only way to know the comfort that David spoke of is, is to give your life in complete dependence to God. And the only way to do that is to give your life to Christ. You know, God sent his one and only son to this planet to die on a cross for our sins, paved a way for salvation. And what he did by doing that was give us an opportunity to live for him. He gave us a choice. You can do this on your own, you can go your own way, but there will be no salvation. There'll be no rest. There'll be no hope. Or you can live in dependence on me. You can take what I have to offer. You can receive the salvation in Jesus that, that he so, so desperately desires for you to have. You can give your life to Christ and live in dependence on God. I, I got to tell you, for me, that's where I want to be. I don't want to try to do this on my own. I don't want to try to do this with my own power. I want to do this with the power of the Holy Spirit living in me. I want to do this life in such a way that people look and say, you know, there goes a servant. I want to live this life in such a way that I find hope and strength and courage at every turn because God is my fortress and I will not be shaken. We can find in our dependence hope, comfort, protection, and a future. And that future is to be with God for eternity in a place called heaven. And we do that by receiving Christ as our Savior. I hope you'll do that today. This Independence Day, you choose and become dependent on God. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy. That that uh, gracious act of sending your son to die on a cross so that we might be saved. Father, I pray that we will use that wisely, that we will accept and receive the salvation you so freely offer. And then, God, I pray that you will help us to live in dependence on you. For you are our hope, our rock, our fortress, our strength. You are everything. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a safe, fun-filled weekend out there this weekend celebrating the, the Independence Day. Uh, 
I pray that you'll consider my thoughts today and choose today whether you will live on your own or for God. See you next time. Have a great week.